Christian and I finally paint. Interlux 2000 barrier coat underneath a uh, PC 17 Teflon cover coat or whatever that is. running at idle. No balancer noise. Port engine. Let's see the day code there. The balancers have been replaced. Uh, this will be the second time. First time was in 2008. Uh, under warranty just as a preventative measure. And, uh, we could hear him whining a little bit, so we felt it was a good idea to change these now. So we went ahead and did that with the starboard engine. Battery voltage monitor monitors both engine batteries and the house battery, which are all independent from each other. Accessories panel. Navigation light works, anchor light works, port bilge pump, rear deck lights, starboard bilge, live well. Not sure if you guys can hear it or not, but they come on, washed on, port deck well, starboard deck well, fresh water pump. <coughs> Engine hours, port 761, starboard 751, uh, the YDS downloads will be different because the engine computers are replaced with the vapor recovery uh, tank upgrade which was a computer replacement I think the engines had 200 something hours on it but you can see the difference between these gauges and the report uh, VHF works stereo works <coughs> working. Our plotter works. shock works um, there's a little sensor that goes on the downriggers one of the downriggers a clear thing right there talk back it talks back to a transducer on the back of the boat so when you're using it it'll give you this the um, temperature and the speed wherever the downrigger weights at and the autopilot all functions Take a little short right here. Your speed works. Separate fuel tank gauges. The fuel tank gauge on this is just buried at the top because it only reads one. So we um, it's 
doesn't really do anything, but the, these two tank gauges are accurate. Fuel management gauge. And it's got the uh, PCR uh, search light. Trip here. Alrighty, we're gonna do a C trial at various RPMs. Bring her up to 2500. RPMs, 11 miles an hour, 2 miles a gallon, at 5.4 is consumption gallons per hour for both motors. Bring her up to 3,500. Settle for 3,400. 22 miles an hour. 2.4 miles per gallon. Pretty good. It's probably the most economical speed for the boat. For the 4,000. channel space I gotta flip around here. Right. So I'm gonna take off from a dead stop and go to five thousand RPMs.
get one more of the autopilot. Let's make sure that I'll show you that's working right. around to this uh, 2004 Glacier Bay 2680 Coastal Runner. Up on the deck here, um, have a huge anchor locker, uh, an anchor and chain and road, uh, road come with it, the bow puppet. And then right after that, uh, there's a big cushion that's down in the cabin for this area, and then these carpets. Um, that are brand new, never been used, but they lay in the cockpit and around the area where you drive. Two opening hatches there. ACR, uh, remote searchlight, Fruno scanner, Fruno GPS, custom mount for that. A couple of hatches in the hardtop that open. Taco telescoping uh, outriggers also come with it. The mount is right there for it, one on each side. Uh, Canon Mag 20 electric downriggers, four of them, all working. Coming back, we have um, battery selector switch that would be an emergency parallel battery switch with the seven fuses four for the downriggers three for the 110 120 volt battery charger are in this compartment here uh, the boat has a unique battery system it has uh, three batteries total one dedicated battery for each engine and then one house battery that every all the boat loads 12 volt loads run off of um, and either engine can charge its battery and that house battery simultaneously but isolated. Um, so the on this side you have the port battery and the house battery, Yamaha fuel filter, and then the battery switch compartment. And then on the starboard side, uh, the starboard battery, the Yamaha fuel filter, and then the uh, guest three bank battery charger that runs off 
120 volt uh, shore power. And uh, stepping back, we have a, the built-in swift plan form. Then in this hatch here is the uh, C-Star steering cylinder and the Furuno autopilot rudder reference unit. And then a uh, built-in swim ladder that telescopes up and down. And 30 amp shore power connector and the uh, cord set for that. Then moving forward, um, the owner's friend made him this uh, custom uh, tackle drawer assembly here with sliding drawers. It's, it's pretty nice. Uh, the boat probably would have came with a Glacier Bay uh, cooler, um, like an igloo cooler, but uh, customer didn't want that. coming forward we went uh, in another video went through all this all the switches and gauges and electronics it's got a 120 volt outlet there too with fire extinguisher there's two switches underneath there those are master switches for the autopilot main switch and the electronics main. Um, so if you leave the boat, um, you know, instead of shutting everything off, you just reach under there and just flip those two switches down, those two breakers, and they shut off everything in the boat as far as 12 volt goes. The engines don't run through those, but the electronics and lights and everything go through them. So down in the cabin, electric head, Japsco head, and a 30 amp shore power panel. There's a uh, brown leather vinyl type material uh, cover that goes over the back of the helm station here and covers all this. I just have it off so you can see everything. At the back of the gauges, your fuse panels back there, all labeled. Pruno radar scanner, plotter, fish finder. and the Furuno Autopilot pump and the Furuno Autopilot computer. <laughs> the dog bark or snoring in the background. <laughs> There's a uh, cushion for the front uh, area. And underneath this hatch here is a huge um, just open locker. And at the bottom there is the live well pump and the raw water wash down pump and through hull fittings and strainers.
shower sump. It's down there on the on the floor. Japs go 12 volt electric head. Boat also has uh, can pump overboard the holding tank. Storage cabinet here from Glacier Bay. There's storage underneath Elm Station and under the um, port side seating there. Canvas is in good shape. There's an overhead light. And on the back side of that light is another switch for the LED uh, spotlight in the deck, or for the deck. You can see the boat shows really well. It's really good shape for 2004. Again, thanks for watching uh, the video. If you have any questions, please call.